Howdy folks, we're at the back end of the Green Mountain Mine right now. I tried digging out that nugget and the detector wouldn't pinpoint it. It just came back as background noise, even the last time it was a really strong signal. Nobody's been in here, so I don't know if the detector's messed up or what. But anyway, this time around, ooh, it's hot. Not really hot, just sweating a lot. This time around we're going to go in and I'm going to probably do a slow walking tour focusing on the minerals so you can see I'm holding on there about 10-15 seconds each and I'm going to use my laser pointer to point out what I'm looking at but since we're in the back let's start here all right oh, let me have a seat oh yeah because I'm lazy oh hammer in the butt don't ask why all right first thing I want to take a look at is this fault in the back of the mine all right, so we're looking up here. You can see that red light. That's a chunk right there. That's the vein. That's one of the veins. Come through here. There's another one that comes down through here. But if you look at it, this one ends right about there. It kind of dilly dallies around a little bit there. But then this one pops up right there. It goes back and it comes down into the sill. So that's your vein there. What's interesting is you've got that kind of a gap there. So you've got one quartz vein here. Jumps over about two foot. Comes up here. In between it, all this rock, and here is all mineralized as well. Uh, this is the hanging wall over here, foot wall over here. But if we get up in here, you can kind of see the coloration. This camera's light blowing it out. So we get another vein. So really, you have quartz intrusion. Your main portion of the bore body is right across here. So what we got is a lot that looks like both epithermal and porphyry. So it might be a mixture. I don't know. Let me get my butt, off, butt up. Let me go look at some close-up stuff. All right. One thing, I took a sample right here. This is 380 mark. So what are we looking at here? Got a couple different things going on. Yeah. Autofocus. Yay! Um, this red here, hematite, which is iron ore, iron oxide. This orange right here is the hematite that's oxidized and basically turned to rust. Both of these, this one and this one, hematite, and it degrades to limonite, which is that orange again. And it degrades to limonite. They both have gold in them, but as it degrades, it can sometimes let the limonite go. I mean, the limonite can let the gold go, and you'll end up with your free mill gold. Let's get in there. There's some more limonite there, top left, and then a lot of that black is probably manganese. I'm paint across there real slow. Get a good look at that. But as far as crystals go, I want to look at um, this material here. Could be fault gouge, or it could be limestone. And I'll show you why I say that in a minute. So, nothing really too interesting here. Let me take a look here. Focus on that middle spot. Sorry, I shake so much. I'm a little tired. Nothing really interesting in there. I mean, it is, because it's cold ore, but there's nothing really just, I just want to go, wow, hold on that for like 20 seconds. It just rock. So here we're coming to the cut face. Let's see if it shakes a lot. Okay. I don't know if you can see all the sparkles in there. That's all specular hematite that's falling off the roof. Well, here's a good example of it. Right there. 
hold that for you. Now those sparkles are actually hematite crystals that haven't degraded. Apply some magnetite in it as well. Get a little closer on it. If I can hold a good. You can see that in the background there. Focus. Focus right there. You butt monkey. Oh, well, I didn't want to focus. We've got better examples. Well, let's get up here and look at this quartz vein. You get a lot of manganese coming through it. And these dendrites, kind of spots in there. That's kind of how you deposit. Now, up here, you've got the green, which is copper oxides, and then you've got some specular hematite. Again, right there, some good specular hematite. And up here are some more manganese. But this in here, that's all limestone. Really soft stuff. So we're going to pan up and around. And there's some good more copper. Now, if I can get in the right spot to show you, at a really awkward angle. Focus. There. There's some really pretty oxides in there. Oh, come on. There we go. A really neat crystallization up in there. That's just a, I don't even know what that is, honestly. Could be a couple different things. Oh, let me back out. It's just a really awkward spot to stand in and sit in. So we're gonna come out. This is all more specular hematite in there. I'll give you some better examples in a moment. Coming around. Is it dusty? A little bit. I'm wearing my face mask right now. Not the big one, obviously. You can't hear me when I... The big one. But here's another good example. Foot wall here. And then this vein cuts through there. This here on the other side is the gobbing wall. Not nearly as well stacked as the two back at the 300 area. Nothing really to look at here. Let's get up in here and take a look. Shall we? I forgot this thing's a stylus. Come on, out of focus. That's all good specular hematite. Really fine grain stuff too. Let me get this to focus right here. What? Get back there. Really fine grain. Specular hematite. It continues to go up into the foot wall here. Another spot here, little bug, little hole here. All that, I've been chalking a little bit out of that. It's all chalk. So I don't know if it's ground down or actual limestone, but it's powder mixed in there. Again, limonite is the orange. So we got that vein right here. This rock right here, your country rock or your host rock, just andesite with a bunch of grasshopper poop on it. So let's keep going, shall we? The back part of this mine is all kind of like this, nothing really spectacular. Um, hematite in the ceiling, limonite across here. No real beautiful. So I'm going to turn again. Right here, we got a good example again. Here is our foot wall on the right side of the screen. Hanging wall, left side. You can see almost how smooth that wall is right there. Here's another example here of why we know this was two sets of miners, or one miner shot the other one, or who knows what. This comes up about two and a half feet, and the formation of the mine starts to change. This one's more, comes to a peak where they're chopping. You can see how it comes up. 
And this kind of arches out in the back down there. We come back down here. It's a lot wider. Much, much wider. So they were doing some better work back here. So we're at the 350 mark. And what was it that I wanted to show you? Not that, not that. Where is it? Where is it? I'm trying to look at the camera lens so that I can not bounce around so much and get you seasick. Here's more limonite right there. Mixed in. There's some chalk. I mean, not chalk, it's crayons. I used a mark where I took samples. Uh, here's the vein, another vein coming through the, the roof. Comes down and around. I'm going to follow that for just a second because it's going to change. Lucky there. Now we're getting some malachite. That dead center there. Come on. There you go. That's some cover. That's malachite in there. The vein mixed in with the hematite. They're really good. Contrast. That red and that green, that's about accurate. Color on the screen as opposed to the color I'm seeing in person. And come back across here. Some of this black can be magnetite too. Come on, focus, baby. You butt monkey. Too close. There we go. I'm just gonna follow that around. There we go. And then there's some more. It kind of keeps trailing along. Here we got that lighter blue. Lighter blue green. That's chrysocolla, which is malachite that's decomposing. Now what's neat about this? I found it a while ago. Where is it? That's actually clay. It's a clay deposit. So what that means for us is that it's just sort of like secondary tertiary deposit. He had the country rock, he had the host rock, or which is the host rock, and he had hydrothermal fluid come up alter this rock and make this deposit with clay which is, kind of gives me an idea that it might be epithermal uh, nothing really else interesting in there especially if you could focus but yeah that blue is blue clay blue clay is kind of what the comstock was loan was known for held tons of silver and we're in the roof now looking at just some bugs up there with limonite in there. Still facing on the. Aha, there's that. This one I wanted to see right here. This stuff just crumbles. Clay material. Super soft. Back up a little bit so you can see this. Now, starting kind of down low in the foot, well, where it meets the sill. I got an awful lot of specular hematite all through here. All super shiny. Comes across here. Let's look at that piece right there. It's a good, good chunk of it. Let's get in on there. Come on, sparkle baby. Show me it. Oh, look at that. You're so pretty. You're so sparkly. Oh, look at how sparkly. It just flakes off like dust. Super soft in here. Right on this. Come on, Jeff, man, you're shaking like a friggin' tree in this windstorm. But anyway, we got that all through here. We got a little bit of red staining here in the quartz. Not much. It's kind of like a pale pink going in through there. The hematite kind of arches all through this little spot right here. There's some staining on the quartz. That's the red iron ox or leaching out and staining the quartz red. Come back across here and come down. And then here, just inside the wall, we've got a little limonite pocket with malachite and probably cuprite, maybe that dark stuff. We got a little a little deposit right here. It's all based on this from coming down from there. 
all the way up in here, all with this kind of clay and limestone looking stuff. Comes up, and then we got a bug. Some of the deeper ones that we got in the mine. Let's get the finger out of the way. But you can see right there, that malachite, dead center of the screen. Wow, I'm shaking bad. Anyway, so, it's a little hole that it's formed by off-gassing and whatnot. Coming out, see that blue? It's a Chris Cola. Now we're starting to get some formation of minerals up here. Get that focused in there. That's uh, some hematite. Oh, come on, get me right there. I can't shake them, reaching way overhead, trying to get that in the right spot. But usually got some crystals, quartz flowing in there. Hopefully it's going to hold some gold. Moving right along, right behind this bug now. Oh, it's a good piece of malachite. And it's shiny stuff. Stuff there. Here's your chalcopyrite. It kind of got a brassy color to it. It can hold gold as well. Not very much, but it can. And a good look there at that. Those little fingers up there are all... Um, what's it called? Bug! Get out of here! Little manganese. Then you got the beautiful little malachite coming across as a crust. And that's going to continue to follow this wall. That kind of cord. I got it plugged into a battery in my shirt. Comes across. And then again, you can see the malachite there. I mean, not the malachite, the limonite. Focus. Pocket coming up. Not a lot happening on the hanging wall here. It's pretty much all the mineralization is on the right side here. We got a little bit. Same thing, limonite pockets coming here and there. And I'm gonna follow this vein down. We got some better quartz crystals coming in here now. A little better formation. Kind of hard to tell. But you can see the formation of some of them quartz crystals in there now. With that limonite. Now we got the spot here where the really just smooth being a relative term foot wall now see where things kind of get interesting again same vein same limestone base on top of andesite that little spot of malachite right in there but then it opens up up here we get a good spot this is at 340 feet What the hell is that? Gotta go, folks.